Hello, Angel Fate here. Um, this is my second guide. It's gonna be a farming guide. Well, it's not gonna be a full farming guide. It's gonna be kind of like an advanced farming guide. So, for basic farming information, um, I found a kind of a good link. Uh, it's uh, Silent Core's Guide to Farming. It's on Machinima. The link is up here. Click the link, 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 and well. If you can stand his accent, that is. He has kind of a weird accent. Well, in this guide, I'm gonna farm herbs, marigolds, and cactus, cactus spines. And of course, I'm gonna teach you how to keep um, two patches from dying. Uh, yeah, basically, what you use is a uh, amulet of nature. So, what's good about this pa uh, this method? is um it's good uh money good uh profit on top of your skilling if you're doing skilling uh it's very very good money and since you have two patches that never dies um you can plant um two seeds that are very expensive uh and they will not die so okay let's look take a look at the inventory Alright, so what you need in your inventory is the Amulet of Nature. Uh, you can make the uh, these. It's not tradable, so you can't buy these off the GE. But you can buy a pre-nature amulet and enchant it with uh, magic. So you need 25, 27 mage to enchant your pre-nature amulet to become the amulet of nature which is the main thing that you're gonna use for this guide <laughs> alright and I have toad flax seeds and renar seeds what you need is three cheap seeds um, that makes a lot of money back sort of like toad flax is kinda cheap it's only 5k but renar seeds are um, let's see 12k each or 11k each but they make a lot of profit back so these two seeds I'm gonna plant at the two patches that never dies so it's 100% profit of these two se seeds they will never die and I have four marigolds and of course you need your farming tools that one you get from your leprechaun Okay, now I'm going to explain to you a little bit more about the Amulet of Nature and how it works. You need to wear it in your um, am amulet slot and yeah, you bind it to one of your herb patch um, or actually any patch. So what happens is a, a, a thing, a chat will pop up in your chat box that says uh, your Amulet of Nature resonates a low hum. There is a voice, there is a sound like hum, and it seeks audience with you. So, like, hum, um, um, master, I seek audience with you. So, what you do is you rub it, just right click and rub it, <laughs> and the ML nature will tell you, okay, um, your patch is fully grown, or your patch is diseased uh, or your patch is dead I'm so sorry and if your patch is diseased you can teleport using the amulet of nature just right click teleport and you can go straight to the patch that's diseased it only works if it's diseased uh, and then you can just buy take 25 GP with you and buy uh, plant cure or you just bring a plant cure and just cure your plant that's how you make your plant your herb to never die so Alright, All right. with that out of the way, I, I'm going to um, do the farm run. So basically what I do is I start with the three um, cheap um, patches first, the cheap seeds first. Um, and you always bind your nature emmy to your last patch, whichever patch that's last. Mine is a Catherby patch because I'll tell you why later. So just do your farm run as usual. Um, 
sorry, I forgot how to, I forgot how to farm using the normal spellbook because I'm so used to staying on uh, the lunar spellbook. Um, it's so much easier to farm on the lunar spellbook. Um, well, I don't think I think there are tons of guides on that on how to farm on the lunar spellbook, and uh, well. If you guys think that I should do another um, video uh, about farming on Lunar Spellbook, then uh, let me know in the comments. Just leave your little cute little comments and uh, I'll do whatever. <laughs> Anyways, uh, the second patch I always do is the uh, the one in the near the active file. So yeah, basically this patch, uh, there's nothing interesting about this patch. Alright, so as per normal, RD patch. Well, nothing interesting about this patch too. Oh yeah, you can just use your skills skills necklace to teleport here if you want to. Um, instead of teleporting to Ardenone and uh, RD, Ard, Ardogun. Don't know how to say that word. Alright, so after the Ardenone patch, you're going to troll helium, uh, troll hyum, troll, troll hyum, troll helium, whatever. <laughs> okay, in this patch, plant your uh, expensive seed. With, in this case, the Renar. So just switch out your uh, staff and go to um, uh, Camelot Castle. And then on the way, just use your um, watering can on the fountain right there. It's just on the way. So this is an important patch um, for me to explain. Listen, Barrel. Um, what you do in this patch is um, this is my last patch. I don't care if, it, if it's yours or not. What you need to do is Take out nature, amulet of nature, um, put it in your inventory. Right click, use on this patch. Farmers cannot look after your farm patch, blah blah blah. Just use it on the patch and you will bind the amulet of nature to the patch. Alright? And then when you wear it, it will tell you, it will communicate with you, it will tell you the condition. This thing will tell you the condition of this patch. So it's gonna be awesome, and if it and if it gets sick, it'll tell you. And uh, if it um, dies, it'll also tell you. If it's ready, it's gonna tell you. So you can farm the moment all your like because this is the last patch. So when it's ready, all the patches are ready. So that's usually the case. Uh, I usually keep my buckets. You know why? Because at this patch. I take out all my buckets, uh, 15 of them, I take out 15 buckets, I only have 14. And then I'll re open my compost bin and take out super compost, 15 super compost and then bank, uh, bank them in your, or, or store them in your uh, leprechaun. And then you just run to the bank, get some money. <laughs> Okay, yeah, a hundred will do. A hundred gold pieces. Turn around and talk to this dude called Arhan. For those who don't know, uh, you can just buy pineapples from him, from him for two GP each, uh, forty a day. Just run back to the bank, unnote them, and take out fifteen pineapples. Go back to the compost bin, and make super compost. Go to um, this is just an extra, extra profit, extra money, and run to the um, cactus. If you have a cactus seed planted, so just pick the three cactus vine over here. So, yeah, you can note the cactus vine as well. Yeah. So basically, that's my um, farm routine and. I hope it that it helps you guys, um, especially for you guys who are farming for um, herb lore. 
whoever does that. Um, if you're farming for herb lore, it's good because uh, a lot of the seeds are very expensive. So you can minimize your losses uh, by having the nature amulet. The middle of nature bound to one of the patches, especially your last patch, and it'll tell you the moment that you're um, the moment that uh, you you're ready to farm. So that maximizes your profit throughout the day. You don't have to like stand there and wait or anything. Just listen to the call of nature. Bye bye. No, this can't. Uh, what emote should I do? Hmm. The Emerald of Nature, you need it equipped for you to... Shit. When your patch is done, or when your patch is dead. So... You need to equip it. <laughs> no. Um, okay, so I'm gonna explain a little bit more about the Emelon Nate. The Ardenone and uh, Ardi. Ard Ardogun. Don't know how to say that word. Alright, so I'm gonna explain to you a little bit more uh, on the Emelon of Nature and how it works. Um, sorry, I burped. <laughs> Super compost. No. Nah. So just switch out your uh, wand, your staff, whatever, and go to Catherby part. Um, Catherby tell it. And go to um, Camelot Castle. Itchy. Whatever. Ooh, pretty girl. Her dress is so pretty. I always put back the empty buckets. Oh shit, my computer is fucking up!